Hey everybody, Doran Markowitz here from D Guitars and Lou 3 in Cape Coral, Florida. And what you see here in this video is a mid 60s Italian made Galanti Grand Prix electric guitar that a Francis Wood shipped me from Farmville, Virginia to basically do restoration work on. What uh, it had was overall for its age, it was in incredibly good condition but the frets were worn out, the original nut was missing and it had a strat replacement nut that was sitting wrong on it and too high uh, and the electronics were a bit wonky. Anybody that um, remembers the video that I posted several years ago about another Galanti that I restored uh, would know that uh, this is why he sent me this guitar but would know that uh, one of the things I talked about was the electronics in here under the pick guard here had uh, some capacitors and resistors that the pickups were wired to before they went to the push button switches and what they did was they basically suppressed the output and made them very bassy um, Galanti is originally a an accordion company and that's why you can see with the push buttons this is how you actually select the pickups and so forth so one of the things that I did was I bypassed the capacitor and resistor combination that's in here to send the pickups directly to the switches so that way their full tone and output is really exemplified. I also cleaned up the, the switches because they were really dirty and intermittent. I also cleaned the volume and tone pots. Same uh, problem. Uh, most of the time the output was intermittent. And then I did a full setup on it. Here you could see the, the 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 tall skinny frets that I that I used to replace the old ones, and it's got really nice low action now too. This is a Graftec tusk nut that I cut out of a blank that was a larger blank. Uh, it was just the right size to sit on the shelf here. If you look, you can see that the the nut is kind of low because it's a very shallow uh, shelf area. So that was critical to have one that was the right profile it's got the original tuners it's all original it's even got the original vibrato uh, system which is very much like a jazz master and it actually works pretty well look at that roller bridge I mean for mid 60s that was pretty forward thinking another thing that's really cool about it if you look at the end of the uh, the fretboard it's got what looks like a music man style truss rod adjustment in other words, Music Man wasn't the first one to come up with it. And uh, Galanti actually made the nicest version of these kinds of uh, fretboard end, or neck end, I should say, truss rod adjustments, like the way Music Man does it. You've probably seen them on the cheaper Tesco guitars that had, you know, the long type that, that sticks out and doesn't, you know, it looks cheap. This is a really nice version. So there were a lot of very forward-thinking appointments on this particular guitar. Here's a, it's interesting, it's got a truss rod cover at the headstock. And if I take that off, you'll actually see that the end of the truss rod, the threaded end that has the nut on it, is actually what holds it in. And basically, this rod acts as a dual action rod. Also, if the rod breaks, you can easily slide it out one end or the other. But then, because of the, again, they were an accordion company, it had these push buttons similar to an accordion for pickup selection. So it's kind of a head scratcher. So it's got some very unique appointments to it. And if you look at the back of the guitar, there's the plate that has the serial number and made in Italy, Galanti. It's got some buckle rash on the back. But other than that, overall, great condition. I was just really, really impressed and uh, what really said a lot to me about this was when he said that this was his first guitar and even though he uses Gretsch's and Les Paul's and other things this always held a special place for him so I felt honored that he wanted to ship it to me to have me restore it for him and uh, I can't wait until he gets it back and lets me know what he thinks I put it through its paces today after I finished and I really love the way it plays Another thing about it is that it has a very round 
six inch fretboard radius. It's rounder than a uh, than a vintage fender, which was seven and a quarter. But the thickness of the neck is not bad. You can see how low the action is, and it's actually very comfortable to play. I actually was I was doing a bunch of uh, chord movements on it as well as some shreds and I was even doing some finger tapping and it was fairly effortless to play on it. It's a it's a really nice guitar. So Francis, I think you're gonna be pleased.